vlogging camera. And we can actually see all the things. We are headed on our very first Disney cruise. I'm so excited! So I'm gonna share as many details as possible. I'm gonna vlog throughout the cruise. You guys always say that you want vlogs and you want longer vlogs. So we're gonna try and accommodate that in the most Disney thing that we could ever do. We've got our luggage in the back, our new luggage, green. We're obsessed with green right now. I did my nails this morning. My hair is done, but it's in a top knot, even though it's done. We have everything, tickets and luggage tags and all the things, and we don't know what to expect. Like zero clue. We know that there's a Star Wars bar, and that's about it. And we're meeting all of our neighbors, so we're going like a really big group of people. It's probably gonna be a gong show for like three days straight, so it's just a th three day cruise? Three night cruise for New Year's Eve. It's gonna be fun. All right, you guys, you're a part of it. If this is something you wanna see, then just keep watching. You're shirtless every single day on. Look, there's a reflection. Okay, this room is so freaking cool. So when we, I, I will share the room number throughout this because it doesn't matter, we're gonna be gone. It's not like anybody's knocking on my door, so I don't really mind. But I feel like it would be cool knowledge to share what room we specifically booked and for what reason. And it was for this. Like, I mean, if you have littles, this is like full extra little space to play and to do things. And then you get a bigger balcony because we booked a corner room. So we're like 6196 or something like that. So I'll share it. But what I love is I have, ladies will understand this. I just want to like have a glam area. Like I just want an area that I can do my hair, do my makeup, and I've got like the full setup. And we have, we do have normal plugs. That was a concern if we weren't gonna have normal plugs. As soon as we got on board, they like announce you and they gave me a wishing star. I love tchotchkes, so I'm super happy. And our names are on here. And then there is closet space. This is the bathroom. There is a bath in here. So cute. I love it. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. And then this is the bedroom. So apparently floors six and nine have Frozen and Cinderella theme rooms. It says Disney Wish. There's another TV behind me. And then there's like a Cinderella mural, another closet, and then another, another balcony area. So freaking cool. So that's your little, your little quick tour, but I'm gonna take you around the boat. And I definitely, my biggest goal with this is if you are taking a Disney cruise that you feel equipped and knowledgeable, the check-in process was super fast. All you needed was your passport and your luggage tags you can carry on if you want to. So we did that. So we are not waiting for luggage right now, which was really smart. And that was it, right? That's you just everything. need to know your room number. It was so fast and we've done Royal Caribbean. This was way faster. Amazing. So we're gonna set ourselves up and we're gonna go get some, right. some food, but I'm already ready. I just wanna say that. You didn't unpack, yeah. don't lie. Okay, but don't like lie my dress people. though is super cute. I think it's from Fashion Nova or from Amazon. So this is my maxi dress, super soft, super inexpensive. And I just have like pasties on. I do, I do have underwear, don't worry. And I have little, because it's a Disney cruise, little Tinkerbell slippers. So I mean, I feel ready for lunch. I just need my sunglasses. I'm ready to go. So it is now nighttime. We're getting ready for possibly the show I love this mirror in the room. Okay, this is basically my like cruise ship Barbie look with my little dupe purse that was, I don't know, like $20, maybe less on Amazon. It's very cute. And I have like these cute little also dupe shoes. The whole crew is going to the show and I think that we kind of just want to chill, go find a bar. We already had a drink at the Bayou bar and it was 
so beautiful. Also, I just want to note that where we watched, not watch the boat leave because we're on the boat, but where we left, like like sailing off, our sailing off location, we got a bottle of champagne as a group and we went to the f front, front of the boat, past the Chippendale pool. So if you're on the wish, it was a really good spot. It wasn't busy and it's right at the very front at the top. It was really cool. You're kind of right above where the concierge people are. So cool. So I'm going to grab my purse and my and my wishing star and my glass of champagne. And I think we're going to go get Andre a hot dog because he's getting hungry before dinner. We have the later seating of dinner. So we have like the 815. I bet you I can guess where he is. <laughs> you want to get a hot dog? Let's get a glizzy. A Apparently a hot dog is a glizzy. So we're gonna go get Andre a hot dog. They're so good. They have all these little food areas. Well, is it still open at nighttime? It better be. And then we're gonna get a, a cocktail, like an actual cocktail at the Bayou or the Star Wars bar. But yeah, I don't know if we're feeling the show. I feel like it's like a lot, but I mean, do it if that's you. I just, I'm a big believer with Disney stuff is like, don't pack up your day. Take it easy and you'll enjoy yourself that much more. So that's what we plan on doing. So I'm gonna bring this, I got my purse, I've got my full outfit, I need you to see, I need you to see the outfit. You're gonna be, we're gonna perch you in Andre's closet. This is, listen, this is the best angle we can do, but you need to see the shoe. This is not enough, a wide angle enough. This is how cute the shoe is. And I realize that we're kind of, it's like a quilted little kitten heel, very Barbie, very cute. So that's the outfit. I mean, I'll link everything, but I love it. Okay, dinner time. I just got back from the spa. I am trying to wipe the sense of relaxation off of my face. I don't know if you ever have that or like the lines from the pillows because it is New Year's Eve and I need to get glam. We're, we're going, we're plowing through the makeup. It is 7.30, dinner's at 8.15. <laughs> so I think I'll be able to pull it off. I've got like this really cute jumpsuit that I'm wearing that like laces up the back. I hope it works out. I did bring a backup. And then I have this like viral glitter spray that I saw, I think it was on TikTok. And you can spray it on your clothes, on your body and in your hair. I want to do all of the above. So I'm gonna put on some lashes. I'm pretty much done with my makeup. I need to brush out my hair. I told the girl whatever she was doing my massage, I was like, don't touch my hair with the oil because I need some sort of a head start to get ready. So. I'm gonna put on my jumpsuit, grab the lashes, and I'll show you the final outfit, probably with the shoes and all. So we're doing this. Yeah, the fancy shoes. What do we think of this? In the back, please. Oh, thank you. You look like James Bond. That's point. Andre went and got me a martini <laughs> I'm like, to get ready. To? <laughs> oh, you too. You'd think that I'd be used to it by now. Do you want to show your outfit? You look very handsome. Thank you. Black on black. I think I'm gonna Very do good. these for a bit, thank you. That works. And I did the glitter. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's viralness is merited, but there's glitter. It's not like next level. It's, you know where it shows? On the skin. Like I've got it all on my arms here. You can't even see it on camera. I don't even think it picks it up. Our friends are texting us like, where are you? I mean, I feel like we went from spa to ready to rock and roll for New Year's. It's pretty quick. Angie and Andre's Rock and Eve. Mm -hmm. I like, threw my robe on the couch. I was like, what's back there that looks messy? Okay, so I'll start with heels and then I have an outfit change. I have like a black romper, comfortable, with flats, like Tinkerbell flats for Perfect. later. That should work. With heels? Heels on a cruise ship, I mean, 
But they're cute though. Okay, what do we think? This is it. This is as good as it's gonna get with my Amazon dupe. We'll see how long we last in heels. Okay, let's go party. We are in Castaway Key, Castaway K, Castaway Key, like the Disney Island. Very cool. We had like the best day. If I go out there, the lens is gonna fog up. So we're gonna stay put. But it was so fun. We came back on the boat while everyone was off to do the what's it called? The Aqua Mouse. There's like a huge water slide that goes all the way around the boat. So we did that. The line was really long. Tip for you do it early like do it at like 8 a.m. whenever it first opens so open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. right now I'm pouring a bath I love that there's a tub on the boat Andre's having a little nap a little bath time session happening oh okay you have to buy the water on the boat just get it in like bags or buckets so they gave us gave we bought a really cute little kind of cooler bag whenever we got off the boat and it was adorable. And there was, I think, six water bottles in there. And you can do that throughout your stay. So good way to have water on the boat. I would suggest that. We stayed in the, where did, which area do we go to? I think it's called Serenity Bay. I would definitely suggest it if you don't have kids, because that's the only way you can go. It's like the adult only area. It was very, very cute. So what I'm gonna do is finish my cocktail. I got this little cup on the beach, like a bamboo cup. Stingray drink, really good. I'm gonna go soak in the tub and then get ready for cocktails. We're gonna go try and find this bar called, it's like the Rose Something Bar. It's like a champagne bar. Apparently it has a panoramic view of the sunset. There is so much, there, there are so many bars and so much to see on this boat, it's insane. So we're gonna go try and check it out and we're gonna try and mash out as much as possible on our last day. Yesterday was New Year's Eve, two sets of fireworks. It was the pirate party, super fun. You don't have to dress up as a pirate if you don't want to. We had the Marvel dinner yesterday, which was so cool. It was really neat. Like even if you're not a Marvel fan, it was really, really cool. And then tonight we have the Frozen dinner, which I have no idea what to expect, but I'm super excited. Today we are about, I think, to set sail and we're gonna head back home. So it was a three night cruise, but honestly, I feel like it was good. Like, I feel like we did a lot. So I'm gonna soak and then we're gonna reconvene and get glam together for dinner. I just had the most lovely bath. There is nothing better. Like, I mean, if you need a reset during a holiday or just any day, a bath, it helps me so much. I hate whenever there's no bathtub in a room. And I mean, on a cruise, I feel like that'd be rare, but maybe because it's a Disney cruise and they know that maybe like the littles Little babies need their bath time. Maybe that's why. I don't know, but I love it. And I love our room. 
So we are staying, I think I mentioned this at the beginning, but the room is 6196. And the reason I say that is you can look on any floor, but it's a corner room. So for the same price, you have almost twice the amount of space. You have a bigger balcony. Um, you have this like corner room that I'm in right now with another TV. The other rooms aren't really like that. So it's kind of a cool hack as we didn't learn that. Like we didn't, we didn't know this. Our friends told us to do it and it's been so good. I mean, you spend like zero time in your room, but when you do, it's kind of nice to have that extra space. So I want to go through and answer any questions that there might be about the entire cruise. So obviously I'm not an expert on this. This is our first ever Disney cruise. We've been on two Royal Caribbean cruises. Both were really nice. Um, we had concierge on those and we had a really cool room. We had, this is why I can't vlog and do makeup at the same time. Why am I putting blush on first? I thought that was concealer. I just feel like if you love Disney, this is on a whole other level and I get it. The I, I've always wondered why is a Disney cruise so much more expensive than other cruises, but I kind of see why now. It's just next level, especially if you love Disney. It's really fun. And if you have kids, I mean, I can't even imagine. But if you don't have kids, I just want to say, it doesn't, it's not like, I mean, there's lots of kids on the boat, but there's adult only areas. We went to the adult only beach today. There's an adult only pool area, hot tubs. Like there's, there's areas where kids can't go. So, I mean, it's, it's not really a factor. Like today on the beach, it was so quiet and lovely. So, I mean, I wouldn't let it stop you. So night one, we had dinner at the 1923 restaurant, which I really liked. Like the vibe of the restaurant is so cool. It has, it almost has like a Carthay circle. If you've dined there in Disneyland, it almost has like that type of vibe. I'm trying to cover my sunburn. It's gonna be fun. I can already feel the sunburn coming through. So night two was yesterday for New Year's Eve. We did Marvel, so cute, so fun. Where's my bronzer? So one tip that I would say is don't, you don't have to pay for the like, there's extra restaurants that you can pay above and beyond and go to those because they're like specialty restaurants. I feel like the, the baseline restaurants that are like included that they schedule for you and that's the way it works. So on the app, once you're on board, everything will populate in the app and you will see where your dining reservations are for the three days or for however long your cruise is and you'll either choose the early seating or the later seating. We have the later seating, thank God, because you can go for like a cocktail before and everything. I I mean, we always eat at around 8 p.m., so it's perfect. So our seating's at 8.15. I think it's like six or maybe 5.36 and 8.15. So that's perfect. Marvel dinner was great. I feel like they have options for everyone. And then for lunch, we've just been doing like a quick service, like on deck, I think I wanna say 11, where the main deck is, it's so fun. There's like hot dog. There's like, a, we call it Disney Chipotle pizza. It's like quick stuff. And then you can also go to the marketplace, the buffet. We haven't gone there once, but I'm not really like a buffet type of person. I don't feel, I just feel like it overwhelms me. For breakfast, we've been, you can go to the marketplace, like the buffet, or you can go to that 1923 restaurant. And that's what we've been doing, like a nice sit down breakfast. Cause I live for a good breakfast and breakfast has been really good. I get eggs Benedict and Mickey waffles for breakfast. It's lovely. So one thing that Andre and I do every single year on New Year's Day or on the second is we map out our year ahead. We've done this for so long, like pretty much every year that we've been together. So that would be almost 20 years. And we're gonna do that today. So I think we're either gonna set up, I don't know, we're either gonna, it depends on what we wanna drink. So if we're in cocktail mode, I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's cocktail time. Oh yeah, wow, it's way later than I thought it is. It's 4.45, so we're at cocktail o'clock, no more coffee. So we're gonna go get a cocktail and probably either at, there's there's a there's a restaurant called, it's not Ale and Compass, but it's like something in Compass and it is so cute, but it's kind of like a football bar. I love it, but if football's playing, I don't think that's gonna be very productive. So we might just go to the quiet Rose Bar where they have champagne and write out our goals. Now, I actively check my DMs and answer my DMs on Instagram. And there are so many questions about the like new year. I feel like we have modes on this channel. We go into like fall decor, then holiday mode, and then boom, it's like new year's mode. 
So every year for the past couple years, I've done a vision board party. I've either done it on this channel and it premieres live, so I'm on with you, or I do it on the Daily Grind YouTube channel. So this year will be no different. Yes, I am gonna do it. And that's the question I keep getting is, are we doing it? Yes, we're doing it. And I will hang out with you guys. We're gonna go through the entire vision board process. But what I'm gonna do is kind of dive in a little bit into the Dream Life Blueprint workbook that we will be launching with the Daily Grind. So that will be part of it. So you'll kind of get to, I guess, go through that with me. But on a whole other level of that, I get a ton of requests to do what I do throughout October, which is a daily video and a daily podcast. It's basically a podcast in video form and then the audio version ends up on my podcast. I do it every October. I do it for 31 days straight. And I thought this year we should probably do it through January as well. So obviously there will not be one on the first. I am literally on this boat on January 1st and I want to enjoy my January 1st. So, and that's, I think that's a lesson too. Like, let's say you're, I don't know, hungover <laughs> or we're not, but I have been where you, you know, you just don't get that strong of a start on January 1. You can start on January 2 or on January 3, 4 or 5. And the truth is most people will have already given up on their New Year's resolutions by the 15th. So don't be that person. And that's what I'm going to try and help you with going through the entire month. So the month of January on the Daily Grind YouTube page, I'm going to go through all different goals. Um, I'm going to take you through basically each day will probably be a page of the Dream Life workbook. I'm not going to show you what it looks like inside, but we're going to work through it with you. And there'll be quick videos, probably between five and 10 minutes. The audio will be on my podcast. So that's kind of the mode that we're going into for the new year on this channel. And I'm really going to like, it's going to be not just, I feel like everybody just wants to see a morning routine. Like that is the most common question that I get is when are you going to post another morning routine? And I really want this channel to be about so much more than just nonstop morning routines, because I feel like that gets old and tired and I want to add value in so many other ways. If you get me, I mean, I won't stop doing them, but I feel like there's a little bit more to me. So that's what we're going to do. I think we're leaving. Let me take you guys outside to go see everything. Cause I feel like you literally have not left this part of our room. By the way, the robe situation, I live for it. Yeah, we're, we're leaving. There's nobody left. It must be so nice for the crew to be like, bye everyone and get off of their island. The sun is just setting. Yeah, I definitely want to finish getting ready so we can go watch the sunset. But look at how big our balcony is. So it continues all the way down here. I think there's just like a lot. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. It keeps going all the way down here and then it goes all, they shouldn't, they're not usually this big. And I mean, if that's not your thing, that's not your thing, I just think it's kind of cool. And then this one goes into our bedroom. So I think it's because we have a corner unit. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready, put lashes on, and we will reconvene during our goal setting session. I'll take you to the bar with me. Audrey, you want to show your beautiful outfit? Um, sure, not super. I right. definitely got some sun. But it's com I went for comfort, okay. but like, but well, we have a slit for, for a little bit of. You look cute. Thank you. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go do drinks, cocktails. Mm -hmm. come with us we were literally just saying that this is like the best cruise ever also nice bar ever um writing down goals are we honest about our drinks two cocktails deep each that's how you come up with really good goals we're, we're one deep we have a second one in front of us yeah yeah one cocktail deep this is the second that's this is the second number two this is the second yeah. with pretzels okay. so goal setting tip we're going through each category of life right now. So we're doing, we started with personal, then we started with relationships. That's like, we should start, we should start with health, but we're gonna get there. So we started with relationship goals. Then we went through home goals, like what, like environment, like what environment for our house. And then we're gonna go through health and we're just like kind of brain dumping the whole thing. I don't really want to show the paper. Like, I don't want to show what's on it because it's personal. That's what's going down. And this bar is amazing. It's called the Rose Bar. 
chill. It's, it's pretty cool. Gorgeous. Empty. Is it completely empty? We're pretty much alone. Here. It's gorgeous. And then the the extra restaurants that cost more over there. Beautiful. Like, I wish I would have found this on night one. I think this is my favorite spot. home i'm so excited to just like sit down and chat with you guys i also took down all of my christmas decorations that felt really good not so much fun to do that right after we had done it for our own house but let's chat about everything let's like set up here in the living room and i just want to give you a quick debrief of the entire cruise and just all of the details on it i took like a bunch of notes on my phone of all the restaurants and just some like must do's must don'ts and just really good tips for you so Let's do that. Alrighty, I have so many notes and things to share with you. So the very first thing, and I kind of mentioned this, make sure you have the app on your phone. It will actually like populate as soon as you get onto the actual boat. The boarding procedure was so easy. So we left from Cape Canaveral. It's about 45 minutes to an hour from Orlando. So if you're staying in Disney World, it's not that far. And I think if you're staying on Disney property, I'm pretty sure they provide the transportation too because we saw some buses going. We just drove Andre and I together. There is a line that you're gonna get into when you get to the port, super easy. It'll tell you like the wish or like, it'll say Diz or like Disney. You just go in that lane, follow that lane. Do not cut the lane because if you cut ahead, they will turn you around and put you at the back. We didn't do that. We just saw that happen to a couple people. So the lineup is really just to get into the parking garage and for drop off. So even if you're in an Uber, stay in that lane, going into the parking garage, super easy. We just brought our luggages right on with you. You don't have to, you can actually drop your luggages off. They will bring them to your room for you. But the cool thing is if you don't have that much luggage, which for a three night cruise, I didn't have that much. We just carried on that way you have your stuff right away. Our room was ready when we got on, so it was perfect. So super simple. You're supposed to have a QR code, I wasn't paying attention, so I didn't have one. They were like, no worries, here's a little card. And we literally walked right on the boat. Like quick security, super simple, like seamless. And like I mentioned, we had done a Royal Caribbean and waited way longer to get on the boat. And it was just like a whole process. This was lovely. So download the app. Um, you will have a dining location assigned to you within your app. You will have the three different restaurants if you're on the three night cruise. So we did on the first night, we had the 1923 restaurant. Then we had the Marvel restaurant and then we had the Arendelle restaurant. All equally amazing. I don't really know which one was my favorite. I really liked the food at the Arendelle restaurant and the show was really cool. I honestly, they were all really fun. So dinners, your location and your time, you get to choose if you want the earlier or later seating, but the actual locations will be given to you in your app like coming up to the to the actual cruise. You can choose to do the dining locations that you pay more for if you want to. We didn't do that. And honestly, I didn't feel like it was necessary because the restaurants were so great. And what's really cool is your waiters will stick with you throughout the entire sailing. So that was super fun for lunch. You can do the marketplace. You can do the 1923 restaurant. Um, there's a couple different options. We love just the quick service. So on one of the decks, there is like the pizza and like I said, Disney Chipotle. There was a grill, Andre, it was like a barbecue grill. So good, it was so fun. So for breakfast, you can do the buffet or the marketplace, or you can go sit down at the 1923 restaurant. We did that for both mornings and it was amazing. And for the morning that you actually get off the boat, you can also sit down and dine. And I'm pretty sure all of our friends went to the Arendelle restaurant for that. So totally up to you. Just We just wanted to get off the boat. Like once we were done, we were, we were already packed. It was time to go home. Photos. There is gonna be a lot of photographers throughout dinners, especially that will ask you if you want your picture taken. You can totally do it and you can find it in your app. Obviously you'll pay to get the picture, but what we did is like, we just screenshot it. Ours actually never registered. Like when we gave them our room number, it just didn't register. So we were with our friends though, so they have our pictures. So it was still super fun, but just note that that will happen. And you can totally say like, no, thank you. So photos were super fun and really cool for just like different memories. And we have a really good shot of like the group on New Year's Eve, right as the fireworks were about to go off. Like it was like, we took it like 
one minute to midnight. It was so fun. So one question that I got a lot was, did you get off the boat? We did not get off the boat in Bahamas because we've done a couple different cruises where that's where we already got off. Like we've experienced it in our life, like multiple times. We've also been to the Bahamas. Like we've, we've seen it, we've done it. We've got the t-shirt super good. I just want you to know that if you do get off the boat, I do hear that some people get disappointed because they just don't know where to go. And there is, I felt a couple tourist traps right at that entrance. So you kind of feel a little bit like thrown into the mix. And if you go to Atlantis, which is what everybody's kind of gut reaction is, you have to pay to actually like experience like the water slide and all the things that Atlantis has to offer. So we decided to stay on the boat and it was a great decision because you kind of have a quieter experience on the boat. You get to see everything is super fun. So we just enjoyed the boat for that day. But the day that we docked at Castaway Key, get off the boat. It's so fun. It's like a Disney Island. So what we did is we took the tram, by the way, take the tram. Andre and I are like, we'll walk, take the tram. So you take the tram right when you get off the boat, it'll take you to like another stop, get off the tram, get back on the tram. I should preface this by saying this is to the people without children. Get back on the new, the other tram that takes you even further and there is an adult only beach. So fun. So that's where we hung out all day. It was so quiet. We just like, I sat in the water and like just lived my best life, like half in the water in my chair, read my Colleen Hoover book, got some sun. I don't know if you can see my little, got a little bit of rosiness. Um, so Castaway Key was awesome. Um, we actually ate when we got back on the boat. We had a big lunch at the quick service area with our friends. And then we read, we rode the Aquamouse. So good. And like I mentioned, if you don't want to wait in line for Aquamouse when you're on there, it's the big slide that goes around. Go early in the morning, go at like 8 a.m. whenever it opens. So it's open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So fun, really quick ride. But I feel like for kids, it's so fun. And they have Disney movies going on the main deck outside like all day long. It's so cool, especially if you love Disney. When you disembark, so I talked about like getting off the boat. When the boat is actually docked at a location, quick note, all the shops are closed. So don't feel like that's gonna be like your time to go to the shops. I think legally they can't open the shops because of the, I don't know, like the legalities of it. So shops are closed, super important, but the front desk was really helpful if you needed anything. Oh, in terms of what they have for shopping. So they have really like fancy stores right next to the Bayou Bar. You know, like nice watches and jewelries and purses and stuff like that. They do have like a Disney-esque like merchandise shop. I didn't feel like they had that much. So I didn't really, I actually bought like nothing on the boat. I think I have that like wish bag that I showed you guys where we got our water bottles, like a beach bag. And I got a tiki mug to put up in the treehouse that held my drink. Like that was it, like a, you know me, like a cuppy. So I didn't really buy anything, which I think speaks volumes. So the shopping was like, meh, it was okay. But that being said, I didn't really, I wasn't there to shop. So, I mean, it to your discretion. So the, day that everybody else got off the boat not everybody but many people disembarked in bahamas we stayed on the boat and we actually enjoyed the adults only area there is an adult only pool hot tub bar all the way i think it's at the front i want to say at the front of the boat and it is right next to a really cool coffee shop so andre and i hung out at this coffee shop i think it was called the cove it was all like moana themed and just so zen, you do have to pay for your coffee, so it's not included, but I mean, it was so cool. And they like printed, there's a 3D printer for the coffee and they printed Mickey on it for me. I really want this printer for our house. Like it prints anything into a foam drink and it was all Disney stuff. It was so cool. So on New Year's Eve, you saw me, I went to the spa. It was so fun. It's a senses spa. My one tip is if you do want to do it and they have everything by the way, like, you can get like a full facial massage. They have like a doctor on board that you can get Botox if you want to, like they had everything. And they also have a hair salon. I wanna say it was called Rapunzel's. It was so cute. So that was at a different area. There was like a nail spot in there. I saw some little girls getting their nails done. They do have the Bippity Boppity Boutique also just like in the parks, but Andre and I decided to do the spa. Either book it ahead of time of your cruise or right when you get on the ship. We waited like an hour into cruising I think we got like the last spot. So definitely book it ahead of time, but it was an amazing experience. I loved my massage. It was great. I, I mean, there, I have zero complaints. It was so perfect, especially going into New Year's Eve because it allowed me to just rally and like gather my energy for a, a later evening. So speaking of rallying, the bars, I mentioned this, there are so many bars and coffee shops on this ship. I was actually blown away. 
I think that's my favorite thing that was just sitting, enjoying a cocktail, like just seeing all the different bars and coffee shops. So there was actually some that we didn't even get to see. We walked through them, but we never actually experienced it. So the Nightingale bar never went to it. There was also some bars on each floor that were just like a walk up bar, like not really like a full experience that you walk into. My biggest thing on my list for this cruise, I said to Andre, I don't really have a list. The only thing I really want to do is hyperspace, which is the Star Wars bar. It was so fun. It was so cool. I will say though, I liked the Bayou bar more. The Bayou bar was so lovely. I loved the staff in there. It was just so fun. And then that Rose bar that where we did our goals was amazing. And we actually returned later that night. And that is the best spot to just watch the sunset from. It's absolutely stunning. And the Kagan Compass bar. That was such a cool spot. Andre actually went with the boys, played some Uyghur and watched the football game. He had the time of his life. I was up at the pool with the girls. So really awesome different options for you. And yeah, there's no shortage of, of options. And I don't know if you saw the footage of Andre and our friend Lauren doing the obstacle course. He thought that he was gonna be funny and like go in butt first and then she creamed him. So fun. So there's so many different just things to do. There's literally zero shortage of things to do. You will not be bored on this boat. And then lots of questions about fireworks. So on a normal Disney cruise, there are fireworks. They have like the pirate party. So what they did because it was New Year's Eve is we had our pirate party. You don't have to dress up if you don't want to. And they do like this big thing on the main deck and then they shoot off the fireworks and it was super cool. And then on the same evening at midnight, there was like a big celebration. We actually have like the cutest New Year's cuppy that they were handing out and they gave everybody champagne. It was lovely. Like. It was so fun. It was crazy and very like just, I want to say emotional. Like it was just such a high to be like in the middle of the ocean with the fireworks going off off the boat with all of our friends. It was so fun. And then a couple of questions about concierge. So we did have a couple of friends staying concierge. We obviously didn't. We were on the sixth floor. It was lovely. The people that were like our friends that were with us that did stay in concierge said they had a great time. I know that it is like way more expensive though. If, if that's your thing and you feel like that's bang for buck, do it. Like it was, it was really pretty. Um, we saw the room, we saw the concierge area. There's like their own pool area, but just note it is like way more expensive to do it. And then a couple tips and maybe you have some tips for me. So in terms of the fact that it was just going from, you know, the Orlando area, like Cape Canaveral to Bahamas, obviously you're not going through anything major. So the seas were pretty calm, but you will still have motion if you're susceptible to that maybe pack either some bracelets. So they're like pressure point bracelets. You don't really, it just looks like a sweatband. Mm -hmm. So I've done that in the past. And the, uh, the only thing, the other thing that I always pack with me is Bonine. So Bonine is like this little tablet that it's just like an anti-nausea and it's kind of like Dramamine, but I just, I've always done Bonine and it reacts really well with me and I like it. So I actually had to use it on day one and I am not usually someone that gets like motion, but day one breakfast, and it was really the motion of the boat. It wasn't from drinking, although that will work too. But yeah, so my question to you is maybe if you can help me because coming off the boat now, I have what's called dock rock where I still feel like I'm on a boat and I feel like I'm constantly just going like this. If you have tips for me, I will take them because it's not fun. It just makes you feel woozy all the time. So all well on the boat, I was totally fine. Like the other two days was just that first morning that I was a bit woo, but yeah. I definitely feel it. So if you have tips, let me know. And then in terms of disembarking, like the day that you get off the boat, so easy. So we did the same thing to get off the boat. We packed that morning, took our stuff, cleared customs in like two seconds. It was super seamless. Like they chose you right where to walk off and then got in our car, drove home. It was fabulous. Like, would I do it again? Yes. In a heartbeat. And I'm already trying to figure out when and where because we had that good of a time. So definitely, if you've been thinking about it, I would highly suggest it. Hopefully there was all of the answers to your questions. If you have other questions, drop them down below. I will answer them for you as best I can. And I will be sharing more and more on my stories, but I think I have a couple pictures, but um, we are switching gears into like New Year's goals. So the dream board party is coming up on Sunday. So that will be live at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. And then on the 15th, the Sunday after, we are gonna do a 30 day series. All goals, we're gonna go through the dream life workbook and 
we're going to, we're going to crush it together. So that was my goal was, you know, have a good time with the cruise, pop off for new year's and then like dive into our goals together. So buckle up cause stuff's about to get real. So that series is going to be over on my other channel, the live premiere of the vision board party, which is going to be like probably like two hours long. So bunk, bunker down, <laughs> hunker down, get your markers, your planner out, some paper, bring your computer and everything that you need. And I will see you live on this channel at 6 PM Eastern on Sunday. So I love you guys. I will see you soon. And I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. This was so fun. And I want to do more of these. I mean, more cruises, but more just like casual chatting and just sharing all about life. So I love you guys. If you like this, give this a thumbs up, make sure that you're subscribed and I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye dudes.